I'm Professor Dr. Lim Keng Siang. I'm working in uh, University of Malaya Medical Center, and our main interest is in epilepsy. Many people have asked me about cannabinoids. They have read in the news, they have read in Google, they have said that the effect of cannabinoids are very promising and they are asking me whether it's available in Malaysia. So uh, I think this is an important topic we are going to discuss uh, what is cannabinoids and how is it used in medical field, especially in epilepsy. Cannabinoid CBD is not the same as cannabis. It's not a marijuana. It's not going to give you a sensations like opioids. There wouldn't be a similar recreation purpose or effect like cannabis. The chemical name for CBD is cannabidiol, which is a defined uh, product from cannabis and it was proven to have anticonvulsant uh, effect in animal models and it has been used in certain epilepsy trials to treat people with seizures. It's proven to show that it is not associated with uh, undesirable uh, effect as what you will see in people taking marijuana like addictions. So can CBD is actually effective as proven in certain trials to treat people with seizures, but it's not a magic drug. What we can see in the chart is that there are only about 40 to 50 percent of the people uh, respond to CBD whereby their seizures reduce by more than 50%. As compared to those who are not taking uh, CBD but taking pills which was thought to be placebo, their response is about 17 to 20%. So what it means is that CBD is only effective in about 40-50% of people with seizure reduction of 50%. Or in a very lay person uh, manner, it means that seizure may be reduced in frequency but yet to have a total control is not easy and not common and secondly it's not working in everyone it is working in only about 40 to 50 percent of uh, people with epilepsy so when we look at uh, clinical trial on other medications the response is also quite similar most medications in the market treating epilepsy has a response rate of 40 to 50 percent Therefore, CBD is working but not a magic drug. Second, CBD is not without side effect. We can see that people who are taking CBD, some of them will feel sleepy. Some of them may have diarrhea. Some of them has reduced appetite, feeling tired, vomiting and so on. It is not a medication without side effects. Yet, it is individual. So certain people may respond to CBD without side effect at different dose and certain patients may develop side effect even at a very low dose. Thirdly, not all CBDs in the market are safe. Many preparations are lacking adequate quality validations. You can find CBD or cannabis oil in many different uh, websites including Amazon, Lazada. However, these are not in the same formula as the medically used CBD. So even you can find them or even you can buy them, be cautious about the side effect and inform your doctors that you are using them so that you can be monitored on your seizure control and side effect. Lastly, what is cannabis oil? So in June 2018, Food and Drug Administration FDA has approved the prescription use of Epidiolex. Epidiolex is a purified form of CBD oil for treating two types of epilepsy, which is focal and generalized epilepsy. However, as I mentioned, not all CBD or not all cannabis oil in the markets are in the same formula as Epidiolex. Lastly, I would like to talk about the news published in Straight Times by Health Ministry on uh, 19 September 2018, which was about one and a half years ago. It was mentioned that cannabis oil can only be used for research and not as alternative medicine in Malaysia. 
So what it means is that in Malaysia, it's still not legal to use cannabis oil. Thank you.